Welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about infinitely nested roots and radicals. We can have four type of conditions in such questions. We can have something like the root inside another root and inside another root and it goes to infinity. And between the roots, there is a plus sign like this. Okay, there is a plus and there is a plus. So if number that is inside the root, okay, can be written as a multiplication of two consecutive numbers, then the result is going to be going to equal to the bigger one. So let's say we have 12 plus square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus and it goes to infinity. So if you can factor this 12 as two numbers, but those two numbers should be consecutive numbers. So if one of them is 3, another one should be 3 plus 1. The next one should be 3 plus 1. So which is 4 and because 12 can be factored as 3 times 4 as a multiplication of two consecutive numbers and then the result is equal to the bigger one which is 4 bigger of multipliers if there is a subtraction okay between the roots and again that number has to be written as a multiplication of two consecutive numbers so if one of the numbers is x and the second multiplier should be x plus 1. In this case, because operation is negative between the roots, then the result is equal to the smallest one. Let's say, again, we have 12. 12 minus 12 minus, and it goes to infinity. So this is equal to, guys, because 12 can be factored as multiplication of consecutive two numbers, and because the operation is negative, the result is equal to the smallest multiplier, which is 3. And we have a multiplication case also. Let's say the degree root is n in all cases. If you have a multiplication between the roots, okay, when it comes to result, we just decrease the root degree by 1. So it becomes n minus 1 root degree of x. When it comes to have a division okay if you have a division between the roots then we just increase the degree root so in this case the result is n plus 1 root of x for the third case let's say we have square root of 9 times square root of 9 times square root of 9 and it goes to infinity because we have 2 as a root degree okay the result is if you subtract 1 from 2 it's gonna be 1 so it is just 9 guys okay if we have fourth degree of let's say 27 times fourth degree of 27 times fourth degree of 27 and it goes to infinity like this so the result is we just decrease the root degree by one so here it was four and now it becomes three so the result is third root of 27 and 27 is what three cube and this is equal to 3, guys. For the fourth case, we have something like square root of 8 divided by square root of 8 divided by square root of 8, and it goes infinity. So this is equal to, because there is a division between the roots, okay, and then we have third root of 8. And we all know that 8 is 3 cubed, so this is 2 cubed, third root of 2 cubed. So this is going to be equal to 2. Now let's take a look at nicer examples. So let's say we have such a question. In the first term we have square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus and it goes to infinity and the result of that expression is equal to a and b is called as square root of 56 minus square root of 56 and it goes to infinity. So we're going to find what is a and what is b and then we are asked to find what is the value of a plus b. If that 12 can be factored as a multiplication of two consecutive numbers, because we have a plus sign between the roots, the result is equal to the bigger multiplier, okay? Because 12 can be written as 3 times 4, and the bigger multiplier is 4, so a is 4. And 52 can be factored as a consecutive two numbers as 7 times 8, and because we have a negative okay between the roots so the result is equal to the smallest multiplier which is 7 so in this case we have also b as 7 so a plus b is 4 plus 7 which is 
11 guys and now let's continue by looking at the next question in this question we are asked to find the value of x divided by y where x is defined as square root of 14 times square root of 14 times square root of 14 and goes to infinity we have an infinity nest roots here and y is defined as square root of 8 divided by square root of 8 divided by square root of 8 and, so it, and it, again it goes to infinity so we all know that by using the previous properties for x we can find x as let me write it here so the root degree is 2 and now it becomes 1 so x is 14 to the power of 1 divided by 1 actually this is 2 minus 1 so it's going to be x is just 14 or just decrease the root degree by 1 and then just becomes 1 so x is 14 and now for the y value okay y is equal to here we have the degree root is 2 and now you need to increase it by 1 it becomes third root of 8 8 is what 2 to the power of 3 so this is going to be 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3 which is 2 so we see that x is 14 and y is 2 so x divided by y is of course 7 okay you may think that okay let's say we are solving a question but we forgot the formula what we're gonna do well there's a general way okay in order to solve such type of questions you can apply this method to the whole properties property one property two property three and property four for example let's take a look at the first case square root of 14 times 14 times and it goes to infinity this is x right i'm gonna show you a general way if you forget the properties and then you can apply this general rule so this is x okay just take the square of both sides once you take the square of both sides if this is the case and then 14 times square root of 14 times square root of 14 times and it goes to infinity this is x squared right so if you take the square of both sides then this root is gone the first root is gone and the right side becomes x squared we all know that okay that root is x already right so 14 times x because again this part goes to infinity the root part goes to infinity so it is called x and the right side is x squared so we just divide both sides by x these are gone on the right we have just x so if this is the case x is 14 and let's take a look at the next question how we can solve this question well firstly if you realize that this part is something different and the rest looks like very different from what we learned before the very inside we can solve this part as well we all know that if this 12 can be factored as multiplication of two consecutive numbers which we can do it three times four and then the result is equal to the smallest multiplier which is three so let me rewrite the question guys square root of 48 plus square root of five minus square root of 13 plus now this part is equal to 3 right so 13 plus 3 is what 16 so we have 16 here and 16 can go out okay let me just rewrite the question so we are here square root of 48 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 16 that 16 can go out as 4 right because 4 squared is 16 so we have 4 here and now the question becomes this square root of 48 plus square root of 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 is 4 so here we have 4 in the, inside the root this is equal to the square root of 48 plus plus square root of 4 4 can go out as 2 right uh, no this is 4 I just made a mistake this is 4 so this is one guys okay five minus four which is one so one is inside the root now we are here so it is square root of 48 plus square root of one and that one can go out as one so let me write the rest here square root of 48 plus one now we are here so the inside is 49 of course and we all know that 49 is seven square okay so this seven goes out as seven okay 
so the result is 7 in this case that's it for guys let's leave it here we're gonna have a special case that has special type of solution okay we're gonna take a look at this in the next video so i'm planning to make one more video related to the roots and radicals and then maybe i can do one more video to solve challenging questions thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next video